ground charred to death, others' throats slit. It is beyond description, more barbarian than horror movies. Mass massacres in Al Muaddamiya and other areas across the nation. What has taken place and is still going on? in our countries, forced our people to escape for their lives and leave homes. Our people have been earlier displayed 46 years ago, waiting for the savior, the leader who will liberate the territories, the occupied territories of the Golan Heights. Instead, he deployed murderers and thugs wreaking havoc, destruction, and killing among his own people. They started to slaughter its own people. More than 500 people were killed, and more than 1,000 injured in a very small area. Now, Brigade and Division 100 of the Presidential Guard are preparing for new massacres. What's taking place in, Mas in Damasc Damascus are crimes against humanity. It is nothing short of genocide, and the international community must act. Pickups are carrying dead bodies displayed in Damascus streets, namely in Al Mazza area, where thugs are dancing, shaking hands in joy over the dead bodies. In a very near area, other imposters and who are alleging to be fighters of resistance, Hezbollah is occupying Syrian villages murdering civilians, preventing them from peacefully expressing their views and demanding freedom. In all other towns, villages, Abahuri, Asmaqiyat, and other villages and towns of Syria, the international community, honorable men, the United Nations, and human rights organization must move to stand up to these heinous crimes. They must live up to their responsibilities as they must prove that they look at the Syrian people as normal human beings. Syria has always been a member of the international organizations and humanitarian ones. They must work to save the Syrian people. It is nothing but terrorism, as Hezbollah fighters have crossed the border lines, started to re-killing among our own people to support the murderer Bashar al-Assad. We must stand up firmly to the killing of our own people. The Syrian people cannot tolerate or forgive this who is occupying their land or killing their people by any group or party, namely the political parties in Lebanon. We hope that le the Lebanese people will cry out, denouncing the killing of their fellow Syrian people, namely the Shiite Lebanese. They must prevent their own Shia fellows to join fighters and continue killing the Syrian people. Those are supporting regional agendas, totalitarian regimes that turn a blind eye to the people's interest. What's taking place in Homs is a war waged against the Syrian people, and the League of Arab States must address it in this fashion. The Lebanese president and government must be aware of the magnitude of what's taking place on the relationship, future bilateral relationship. Many messages are sent to the international community that is sitting on its hands, preventing arms from reaching the Syrian fighters. 